Hi, I'm Dr. Harikiran, um, head transplant plastic surgeon from Redefined Plastic Surgery Center. Today I'm here uh, to explain you uh, about, uh, I think already people who are already searching for the head transplant, you must have already done some research on it. So I'll clarify some questions about the technique of the procedures, what are the advances and how to choose your doctor and whether you're eligible for a transplant or not and how much time you will wait for uh, to get the results. So these are the common questions you must have. Had. So I'll answer one by one. So whenever you uh, choose a procedure, so people ask for what is the best procedure available for me. So right now, uh, if you take it uh, FUT and we have progressed to uh, FUE and FUE is further progressed to advanced FUE, where uh, essentially the size of uh, the punches has significantly gone down and uh, the size of punches was 1 mm and now it is almost to 0.8 and 0.7 mm. Sometimes when you are taking beard we use very very fine punches because the healing is very faster and the punches also have a serrations nowadays and the serration punches the titanium finishes will have very very uh, less uh, damage to the follicle and to the adjacent area. So always choose uh, FUE or in FUE have any advances in FUE. So let, let it be FUE, any, uh, any of these DHT, uh, SHT, micro FUE, bio FUE, these are all are nothing but uh, uh, modif small modifications, they are all nothing but follicular unit extension, FUE only, FUE. So difference I'll explain you. So when you're using uh, DHT, so they will be taking the graft out and instantly they'll put them into the back into the, the implanter and implanter will be done immediately. And SHT also same thing. But do the, that, that, that is really affect your uh, outcome? And not really, because if you can store your, uh, uh, in a preservative solution, or we use uh, bio FUE as a method of a method, because uh, the position is very cumbersome when you're doing these methods and uh, even harvesting after taking the graft out from the donor area anyway you need to place it into the implanter and put it so we are handling that uh, in two three times so it depends on the techn technique what they use and whoever is doing i think they should be expertised with the technique we use both the pre-hole method and uh, slit and uh, prick method we make a slit and we instantly give the put the hair so by then by that we are reducing the um, the contact time and uh, uh, not to damage the root and we hold it the neck so these are techniques involved so these are all things are uh, to differentiate between these methods all methods are actually safe and they don't have any outcome differences and uh, they'll give uh, results uh, results are pretty same when you are getting with the expert surgeon or expert team so it is very essential for you to choose uh, uh, who you are getting through so if you are you just always uh, check their credentials uh, sometimes uh, uh, some technicians outside uh, they're just doing the surgery so the uh, the difference between the technicians and doctors uh, 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 centers are is only one thing Technically, the procedure might be same, but sometimes they over harvest it uh, because the hairline design is very important actually. That's when your doctor expertise come in and anesthesia is very, very safe when you're in doctor's hand because you're already kind of anesthet, you're in a very safe and hygiene environment and your aseptic precautions are very high when you're getting with the proper doctor and proper hospital. So ensure that you're getting through because it's a one-time procedure. Don't ever land up into the multiple troubles by getting through the uh, and when you are not taking asepsis and because once you get lined up in some infection your the whole procedure might go wrong so i would strongly recommend to go and uh, get it done with a trained team or trained surgeon who has done multiple cases and check their credentials talk to them before and check their online uh, reviews and even if a possibility physically you can just check with them so the technique wise uh, any of these three methods are same uh, dht sht bio fue so all three will give you good results if they're done in an expert hand. So that is to come coming to uh, selection of your doctor. So at Redefine, we have done uh, more than 8,000 transplants by now. I think we are the, one of the India's largest uh, 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 numbered uh, transplants in our, on our, on our setup. So in this, as a standalone center, we do almost uh, uh, per annum for 600 to 700 transplants per annum. So it's quite a good number. And our, we have a, a few teams and because our teams, see whenever you're getting to any surgeon, so make sure that uh, they've done a significant number of cases. And doing excess number of grafts is not a good, a good thing because uh, sometimes if you have a stage two, you may require 1,000, 1,200 grafts, 1,300 grafts. So just because you have enough donor area, I don't, we never suggest you to kill the donor area because it might be in help in future usage. 
So it's very important not to overdo, overdo the procedure. Overdoing is one of the most common thing happens with the technician. So probably your doctors will help you not to overdo the procedure. So sometimes uh, the, uh, the placing of the grafts is very important. So the first two inches will be extremely thick, one inch. And in the, when you go back, we use uh, twos and threes with a little spacing in between. So where we take donor from? We take donor from mostly from a scalp. If you have a good donor, if you don't have a donor issue, then we might take it from the beard. Beard is the second best source of uh, the transplant now. We may be able to harvest up to 2000 to 2500 grafts from the beard alone. So you don't need to worry if you don't have uh, enough uh, hair, uh, enough hair in the back because already you must have got surgery in the past and if you think that you've got already a FUT scar and you think that your donor is less, still don't worry, then you, you come to Redefine or any other center who can do the beard transplant well. So if you are able to harvest the beard, it's a significant source of uh, the, the donor. And uh, body hair, we, I generally don't recommend, uh, we don't recommend body hair uh, for people who got a good beard because body hair the quality of the donor is uh, is is little not very good so you you select your surgeon and you 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 whether you just choose yourself whether you're suitable to your transplant or not sometimes if you have early thinning generalized losses transplant may not be required for you probably we can just manage with the, with the prp or growth factor therapies or stem cell therapies any of the therapies which which we or any of your doctors will suggest you you can get through that a laser light therapy so all these things will actually help you to postpone the procedure or you may prevent the hair transplant at all and that also you can do that so apart from that i think surgical part uh, you you already know it so any of these methods of uh, polyclinic extraction once done and uh, usually results are a little longer so you need to be patient first three months there will be shedding phase and fourth fifth six seven month i think you will still get back your hair so some of the hair will start growing directly it is which sometimes is very normal some hairs will fall and come back so by the time we actually see the result it is minimum seven to eight months sometimes you need to wait for a little longer maybe 10 months 12 months so whenever you are looking uh, the transplant in hair transplant in Hyderabad or hair transplant in uh, any of the Telangana uh, uh, choose us and we we definitely uh, will uh, we are the one of the leading centers in India uh, which uh, we we entire we, we dedicate we are dedicated and give the the best quality service to the patients and moreover the post op care is very important so just doing procedure is uh, is done after that if you are not taking adequate post op care the results definitely might vary so how to use the medication when to use medication when to cleanse it i think all these things you need to clearly discuss with your doctor because every center follows on particular protocol the post op protocol so we follow the one of the world's finest centers protocol so if you don't use uh, right medication right serums and right thing on time your results are going to get varied so make sure your post-op uh, care is clearly explained to you and the results are usually six months to one year time. So you need to be really patient with the hair transplant results. Results are usually the th third, fourth month people come and say, sir, my hair is empty. I don't see any roots. Roots, again, when they're coming, they pierce through the scalp and come. So not to worry at all. So your results are usually differ. Some people get early results in five months. Some people get eight late results up to eight, nine months. Still okay, up to one year there is a possibility that you might your transplant results get better and better with one year time after one year if you tall if you think that there is some area of thinning you can always uh, add on more roots because first time when you do it we really don't want to damage the roots so we generally space it out and take it but always when there is a second time when you're doing we can always add more grafts so transplant is definitely though it's people think is one time but if you have a large stages i think stage five stage six uh, balding it is not possible to you give uh, all the grafts at one time even if you do five thousand grafts transplant but still you require another three four thousand and eventually because you are constantly losing your hair and it's a progressing and it's going expanding so transplant cannot give you all the roots which is available so at least we'll try to give you uh, in a second session so add more roots in second session it's best time to do a second transplant is usually after 18 months by then the most of the donor is is healed and 40% uh, of the hair actually grows back and 60% uh, may not go but 40% hair grows back so second time if you're thinking of adding or second time it will best time is after one and a half year that this is specially suitable for a people who are in advanced stages partly and always adding on but people who just having a stage one two three probably you may not require the transplant probably if you are using the post medication properly you may never require the transplant again
that you can consult with your uh, doctor or us if you're getting treated with us and uh, this is uh, the i cleared out uh, the basic technique thing and uh, how to choose your doctor uh, how to choose a technique which is suitable to you and uh, and uh, post op care and how to discuss and what what things to do what not the things to do we have another video with for the to take care of the post op care which will be explaining it to you so you can look into the video and i'll be explaining the tips and all the things which need to be taken to have a healthy uh, healthy outcome of the transplant